room, you are going to be Team Piccadilly. That's what's happening, alright? So we got the body bottles, we got Team Piccadilly. Now the way this works, who out there knows the game of memory, yes? Got the game of memory? Okay. Please allow me to draw your attention to the glorious pop board. Say, ooh. Ooh, the pop board is so pretty. Basically how this is going to work is we have got uh, ten different pop culture related categories on the board. Each of those cards has a match, alright? Your job out there as individual teams is to figure out where those matches are. However, there's a twist. The twist is... Beyond each one of those cards is going to be a pop culture yeah. question or physical challenge, right? Don't We've got to complete that those, that then that find that the that match, that and then you will find okay. a point. Trust me, this is ridiculously difficult to explain, but you will understand it as it goes along. If you're ready to do it, say yes. Yes, indeed. And the way we need to get this started is I need to find uh, a random selection process. Random selection process is going to begin. Which team is going to start first? And it's the Foggy Bottoms. It is. I'm sorry, the computer has spoken. That's how it works. All right? Sorry, guys. Right now, though, let's go ahead and get someone, anyone, anyone from this side of the room. Get up here on this stage. Come on. Welcome them down. Anybody, anybody. Come on. Welcome out, sir. Welcome out. Alright, you got an easy job, alright? You start to pick any card. Any card in these. Look out. Turn it around. Take a look. We got the old school for you. Everybody, he has chosen Doctor Who. Oh, Doctor Who, alright, sir. Your Doctor Who related question is as follows. Check it out. You, your question is what show featured this saying in its opening credits? Kids can't buy beer, can prescribe drugs. Now your team can help you out by shouting out your team to try to muddle them up. It's entirely up to you. Kids can't buy beer, can prescribe drugs. Do the answer! Five, four, Doogie Hauser. Two. Doogie Hauser, MD. Correct. Doctor Who question. All right. So that particular Doctor Who card has been conquered. However, you guys don't have any points yet, right? It's okay. Don't stress out. Your job now is to find the other Doctor Who card. You got one choice to do it. He's chosen. Do a little dance. Is that a match? Clearly yeah. not. Sit down. But remember, you now know where two of these cards are, right? Make a mention notes. And give me somebody from Team Piccadilly. Anybody, come on up. Let's do it. Let's go. Don't all move at once. He's coming down. It's alright, we're fine. So, any card you like. You can start at the same place, you can give it a different one. He's starting at the top left, he's got Doctor Who! Alright, put that back. However, you gotta, you gotta finish this question before you can try to find the other Doctor Who, alright? Name this doctor. A hoagie, a sweater, You have to find the other Doctor Who card. Now we have a match! Now, you have actually earned your team the very first point of the game. Give yourself a round of applause. Which means that your turn continues. Carry on. Pick a card, any card. He's going with... Tom Cruise, everyone. Yeah. Let's put that card back in there. Take a look. Uh, Tom Cruise, your your question. What exclamation was made popular by Rod Tidwell in 1996? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. You buy that? Yeah. I'm not taking it. Is good to go. You, sir, now have to find another Tom Cruise. Let's see if we can do it. Somewhere in the Scientology department, I would imagine. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Check it out. All right, we've got Disco. Oh, is that a match? Yeah. Clearly not. All right, 
you put that back, you have a seat, you guys know where that card is, you know where Tom Cruise is, and give me a foggy bottom, come on up! Anybody in this place, come on. He's running. Let's do it. Maybe any way you like. Alright, she's coming on up. Wherever you want to start, you can carry on where they were, or you can do, you can go crazy. She is going crazy. We got slam dunk. Alright, slam dunk, put that up there. Slam dunk. Your slam dunk related question is this. What was the name of the song Seal Sang on the Space Jam soundtrack? Really? Oh, I believe I can apply, she says. And that is incorrect. That is not correct. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. And we need someone from Team Piccadilly. Anybody? Come on down. Let's hustle. Let's do this. Team Piccadilly. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come from here. Come on. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Where do you want to go? Looks like he's going with Seinfeld. Starting that question that we all previously heard. Nobody goes in bed eight. That's all right. Seinfeld. Your Seinfeld question. So what Seinfeld character would tweeted this? Doesn't she know about the shrinkage? <laughs> Sure, but now you gotta find the Seinfeld one to get the match and to get the point. We haven't seen it yet. Let's take a look. Okay. We've got cartoons. Not a match. Not a match, but it's all right. You know where the cartoons is. You know where the Seinfeld is. Have a seat and send up, please. Yeah. Yeah. Come on down. Come on down. Excellent. Where would you like to start? Come on, Casey. It's somewhere it is. We've got Slam Dunk. Oh. Alright. Uh, slam Dunk. Top right! Top right! Slam Dunk. Okay. Slam Dunk. Now this Slam Dunk one, let's go for this. What was the name of the song Seal sang on the Space Jam soundtrack? Building suspense. <laughs> you stay there. You're doing fine. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Okay. Now to get the point for the team, though, you've got to answer this question. Actually, for this one, I think what we need to do is a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Show us the famous Michael Jordan free throw line slam dunk in slow motion. Whatever you want to do. We got Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Now that Tom Cruise uh, question has already been has, has already been found. It has. It's already been conquered, which means that's okay. All you have to do now is find the other Tom Cruise. He's <laughs> stressing. I can feel it. He's taking a look, and he goes with Seinfeld. Challenge. All right. Physical challenge. For this physical challenge, you need to get 
Ten members of your team on the dance floor. Start. Ten members of your team on the dance floor. Come on. Any ten people. Let's do it. You got ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Three. Two. One. And all right. So here's the deal. Don't stress out. We got the two for one at the bar. We understand. The Kamikazes are doing their work, so that's cool. What you guys need to do? It's okay. We can have more. Blondie, come on in. Come on in, Blondie. Excellent. Thank you very much. For this physical challenge, for the duration of this song, you need to turn around and show everybody in this room your best Elaine dance.
asking because this man was remarkably light. question for ya. Let's give it a go. Name the famous couple. You ready? She said, I want to love you forever. He said, you are my everything. Oh. Ah. Well, ah. I know this one. Who's that famous couple? Shout it out. You know it. What you doing? You got control of it. Take a look. No, 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 no. What do you got? Supermodel! Supermodel? Let's take a look here. Who sang this song? table possession scene in Beetlejuice.
so is your means. Alright, we've got cartoons down at the bottom. Cartoons down the pole. This is your question from the cartoons category. What cartoon character would leave these following things in a time capsule? Uh, the following things being earrings, pink makeup, synergy, and a microphone. Jam! Jam!
All right, good for me. So, this is what you got to do. Everybody, first of all, face that side of the room. Because you're, you're on that side. Just, yes, you guys are here. Alright, alright. Surely you guys have figured out by now. 
the winners of this evening's event are right here. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow night in...